the first thing I noticed was the wine room. I just wanted to lock myself in there for like a couple of hours. Uh, Somebody's going home soon. It's not gonna be me. Who is it? Not. I think it's gonna be mac and cheese girl over here. Mac and cheese girl? Yeah, definitely. I don't think mac and cheese and, uh, and the shellfish would go well together at all. But strawberry, definitely go with it. I honestly have never instantly hated someone so much. And he's just an epic fail at cooking. Can't wait till you go home, Howard. Why do you think Natasha picked Langostini? The trip us up, especially me. Why? Because she hates me. She hates you? Oh, absolutely. Why would she hate you? I have no idea. You don't even know each other. Exactly. Good balance of flavor. Rich, but it's good. Thank you. Mm. Did you disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I did not. What is it, please? I made a citrus salad with a champion vinaigrette, diced mangoes, sliced grapefruit, and just put the leg and stain on top. If I just get rid of the half the plate, i.e. the three slices of lemon, what have you been doing across the last 60 minutes? I concentrated on my vinaigrette. Hey, I can't see any vinaigrette. I mean, Graham. Do you see any vinegar on there? No, sir, I see no vinegar. Chuck? This is a joke. I don't know what to say. You know I'm not a rabbit, and yet you serve me food that's fit for a rabbit hutch, and you're expecting me to get blown away. Well, I am blown away. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not even going to eat it. You weren't even going to eat it? I went out and told everyone how good you were. Absolutely. You're in a landslide, you know. This is a waste of our time. At this point, if it were up to me, I'd throw you out. I'd put my ass on the line for you, and that's the you give me. If we were to go back to high school, I was a tomboy. Bree would be, like, the quiet one. Eddie would be the athlete. Howard would probably be one of the cool guys. James would be kind of the oddball. And Chrissy would be the loudmouth. I have more enemies than friends, because I never cut my mouth shut. I can stick my foot down as hard as she can, and I'm not scared of her, because I'm going to show her authority, and she's going to listen to me. So Chrissy, why don't you walk on over here? Everybody's scared of my mouth. Everybody thinks I'm kind of, like, going to take over. Let's go, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and people don't like that. Oh, well. <laughs> this. Like, seriously, this. I'm not surprised that we lost. Jordan frazzled everybody, and it was just, it was a show, a complete show from start to finish. Um, I'm seriously about to lose my I'd like to chop somebody's head off for going into this pressure pass. <laughs> no names. Yes. Chrissy, give me your insights. Listen, honor is honor. That was a bitch move. In my neighborhood, that'd get your ass kicked. Captain goes down with the ship. I think it's stupid to not save yourself. You're going to go down with your ship? Well, I'm not a captain of a ship. I'm a captain of a team that is no longer a team. Chrissy, let's go, please. Her cheesecake looks awful for me. She knows it, too. Yeah, I see Chrissy's dish, and I think her plating's like her, clunky. Listen, if you're not scared of me, you should be. Because I can cook. One home cook plated raw fish. It's not raw fish. I was like, did somebody, someone do like sashimi or something? Howard, bring that dish up. Even without tasting it, you know immediately it's raw. It won't even separate. I'm just amazed. This kind of is what pisses us off. And these kind of dishes are what send you home. Kathy's cupcakes look like a neon tripping monkey took a on top of them. Start off with Beck. She doesn't strike me as someone who even eats, never mind steak. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Chrissy, I'm like, she eats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> would you like some gloves or should we just take him out now? I'm gonna him up. <laughs> I'm choosing Chrissy. 
Wow, Chrissy. I get Chrissy. And just so happens, Chrissy's just mad at me because I called her a big girl. Get your ass over there. <laughs> so now she really added even more dysfunction to my team. It's like, oh, my goodness. Up here, I, I don't think human's a great idea. Beth is like one of those hipster people in Philly that I can't stand. Nutmeg might be more brilliant than have human. nutmeg, so that's why I suggested the cumin. You know what, Beth? I'm sick of you already. Yeah. Is that chunky? No, just can you please back off for one second, Beth? Please. All right. Keep moving, Chrissy. Keep moving. Over here, Chrissy. Behind me. Yell at me again. Please, please. Yeah, the cauliflower puree was disgusting. Excuse me? you. I'm disgusting so is harsh. That is disrespectful to talk about food saying that it's disgusting. You don't call food disgusting, period. You're in a competition, you never call food disgusting. That's a terrible word to use. It didn't taste good. You know what? There were people that were in charge of it. You don't say that to someone. I didn't say anything about what happened with your meal. Because I don't do that. But I will now. Please. It doesn't matter. This is why we're in the pressure test now. With everybody yelling in the kitchen, nothing got done. Disgusting. Disgusting. That's why you will never be on my team ever. Stop. No. Seriously. Are you are doing nothing you? to help the problem. You are literally causing it. Good. We are still a team. Oh my God. Breakdown much? It's my second pressure test. You don't see me falling to pieces. Everyone just calm the down. For sakes. Thank you. Thank you. Off you go. I'm shocked. I'm getting out of there. If you give me the chance, I'm out. Sorry, Thank you, Beamy. But I know that he's not that good a leader, and he sucks as a chef. Natasha's Eggs Benedict looks the worst. I don't know what happened with her holiday, but it's bad. It's really bad. I was not expecting it to be a one-two Natasha-Beth combo, especially since they almost killed each other just a few days ago. Of course, I'm happy for the both of us or whatever. I'm more happy for myself. I'm here for a competition not to make up and make a friend, so. Uh, welcome back, and great to see you. It's nice to be back at home. It's a huge emotional blow for me. I'm definitely alone now. I don't have not one person that I can really talk to. I don't like these people, and they don't like me. It's a renewal. Right? Wow. What is this? This is Chinese pubic hair. It's like a Halloween costume put in a bag. Put it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. That's hair. That's, that's a legitimate bag of hair. Well, you'd have to be really hungry to eat this. <laughs> You're a hero. Hi. Hi, Chrissy. How you doing? I would shake your hand, but I have flowers. That's okay. If Jesus came down and stood next to Lydia, I'd be like, yo, what's up, dude? Lydia, how are you? I, I, I don't understand. She's been nice to you, but the whole thing with you is you have this very cavalier attitude. You don't know what you're cooking, what dish you're making with 10 minutes left. Then you come up here and get misty-eyed with us, like, oh, poor me again, I got screwed up, and I'm getting tired of it. Because if you were smart, you would duplicate a plate. The fact that you're not even thinking of playing this game properly is really annoying. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna taste this. You want 15 of the same dishes up here? If you're here putting your spin on everything you make because you wanna show us how cutesy and intelligent and crafty you are, well, that's gonna get you a one-way ticket back to wherever you came from. And then you could show your friends and the six people who told you were good how cute and smart you are when you're home cooking at dinner parties while the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, I want pasta cooked properly because you know what? That's... The only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist in full denial. Thank you for nothing. 